Okay, Aquarius, it's L here. We're going to do a special reading for you. The reading is going to be about how the person that you're coming to this reading for, how they feel about you right now. Okay. Um, and then we're going to get some advice for you in terms of how they feel about you. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Whoa, all right, so this person, uh, the temperance card could be a Sagittarius. This person feels like they just want balance. Um, they feel this, so this relationship could be in the dumps right now. Like, I don't know, you guys are not talking. They dumped you, you dumped them. You're just not giving any energy to it. There could be a level of sadness also. So this person feels like they want to salvage the connection, take it out of the junkyard, and try to fix it up, make it whatever it can be. But this person like wants you to work with them or compromise or um, they're willing to make some compromise to have you in their life. But also with the temperance card, it talks about an energy of wanting things to be how they used to be or how they are not wanting to change exactly but definitely find some balance in where you guys are so that's how your person feels about you right now um they could feel like you are their perfect match too you know they could have everything with you how does this person feel about aquarius right now yeah, the two of cups, this person could want to reconcile with you, reconcile the differences, come back together, um, make it work. Yeah, this person could want to make it work. Um, they want you to forgive them. They want you to let bygones be bygones. It's like this is a heavy energy of it is what it is. Let's just come back together. You know, right now they're seeking you. They're seeking a one on one relationship right now, you know. Um, this person feels like there's a heavy platonic base to your relationship and it's a romantic one. Therefore, it, it, you would make a really good marriage partner. Are they offering marriage? We don't know. We're going to keep pulling cards, but they feel like you could make a very good um, marriage partner. Let's see. How does this person feel about Aquarius? The person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for how does this person feel about the Aquarius? Okay, two cards flipped out. The Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So they feel like it's going to be a fight. Are they willing to fight for this change or this significant relationship? Or for, they're willing to fight for to change your mind? Um, with the Five of Wands, also they like... They feel like there's a lot of gossip surrounding you and that maybe you're listening to other people or you have other people. And maybe that's why you've changed your mind about them. You have other suitors, you have other um, individuals who are who want to be involved with you. You have people vying for your attention. You have something holding your attention. Therefore, you've changed, you know, your direction. You've changed your mind in terms of this person. So they feel like maybe you have um, you have another person. This person feels like the real ones, like um, you're leaving them behind or you're leaving the relationship behind or you're taking the lead and going somewhere else or you're expanding somewhere else or you're expanding something about yourself. Like you, you're not taking them with you. This is how they feel. How does this person feel about Aquarius? They feel like you're creating something else. You're creating, you know, maybe another relationship, another life somewhere else, or you're you're getting ready to move or make some big move. This is how this person feels. They feel like, they feel like you are just um, you're done with them, or you're done with the connection, you're done with creating with with them you're done also waiting they also feel like you're waiting for another person or you're waiting for another opportunity the ten of pentacles and the king of swords so they feel like you could be waiting on money a large sum of money um you're waiting to have a family dynamic you're waiting to be a part of something 
that will give you long-term stability, whether it's a relationship or a job or anything. This person also feels like they want to have this with you. Like they want to expand the relationship and have a long-term relation, uh, marriage connection with you. But then the King of Swords, so they could feel like maybe you, you kind of cut them off or you, you shut off your emotions, you shut off your feelings. You're not talking. You don't have much to say. Your actions speak louder than your words. They feel like you're ambitious or you're being ambitious in another direction. They feel like you're being calculated. Like right now you're 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 calculating something or you're being strategic about your movement. They feel like you have real high standards and they're not sure if they can fulfill your standards too. Let's see. Yeah, the high priestess. So they feel like you're the best they ever they ever had. Sexually, mentally, emotionally. You're a threat to every woman in their life. You're above each and every woman. They feel like you know them inside and out. They, they feel like there's a strong, intuitive connection between the two of you. They feel like, yes, there is separation right now. And you're restricting access to you. Like you won't let them access your energy or access you. They feel like, look, yeah, I'm frustrated with how this relationship, marriage, business, whatever you guys have between the two of you. They feel like they're frustrated with how things are going. But they also feel like it's not the end. They want to finish what they started with you. They feel like they put in too much time, too much work, too much effort. And they want things to mature. They want to get a return on their investment. They feel like this is a restrictive time because maybe you both are maturing apart from one another. They feel like you're very wise, sexy. You have everything that this person could ever wish for in a partner. You're intuitive, you're knowledgeable. You have good conversation. You're elusive and a bit mysterious and they love it. You have like hidden knowledge about stuff. You don't always disclose it, not at will or just not or willy nilly. <laughs> you don't just come out with it. You have to be prompted maybe by the universe or you have to be in the right place, right time before you, you just start disclosing things about you or maybe knowledge that you have. They could feel like you're a witch of some sort. A good one, though, with the high priestess being upright. They could feel like you're birthing something right now. Or you're pregnant. They know that you're pregnant. They got you pregnant. Yeah, this is pregnant. They But they feel like you're you're about to give birth to not just a child, but you're about to give birth to your dreams. Yep. You're about to get some harvest. How does this person feel about Aquarius right now? How does this person feel about Aquarius right now? Uh, the eight of pentacles and the king of wands. They, so they feel like right now you're being a workaholic and you're uh, working on yourself. You're working on your craft. You're learning something. You might be trying to go back to school. You're saving your money. You're being prudent with your money. They feel like you have a lot of money stored up, a lot of resources that they don't know about because this is mystery about someone else's money. They feel like you're doing something over and over again and you're just perfecting it. They feel like you are maybe an entrepreneur or you're a go-getter, you delegate well, you make things happen, you have an idea, you move on the idea. They feel like there's a bit of luck associated with you too. You're in a very lucky phase or a lucky time in your life. They feel like if you are an entrepreneur, money is coming to you continuously. 
resources are coming to you continuously. You're building the will, the will, W H E E L, the will, you know, maybe the will of fortune, like you're building it for yourself. You're, you're making something go around to where it's going to just work on its own. They could feel like, um, like you're working on something, you're working on yourself, you're working on your business, you're working on whatever it is. You're in school, you're doing you, you're focused on you. You could be a workaholic right now. And you don't want to give maybe this situation another chance. You've given it chance after chance after chance. They feel like maybe you, you're trying real hard to meet somebody new to replace them also. This is how this person feel. Yeah, this is how they feel about, about you right now. They also feel like I'm... Like one of you were more invested in the relationship than the other. But now somebody's feeling guilt for not being invest, invested. If you see a lizard, Aquarius... Do know that luck is on your side. A lizard or gecko or something like that. Especially if you have like some entrepreneurial endeavor. Like you want to start. They feel like you just, you're working hard to, to make something manifest. And it doesn't have anything to do with them. They could be desiring to be with you right now. Sexually, physically, passionately, to touch you, to hold you. They, they wouldn't say anything, but they would definitely show you by way of feeling, touch, you know, how they feel about you. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Cards coming two by two, right? Wow. All right, so we got King and Queen of Wands, so they feel like you're a perfect match, okay? They could also feel like there's a bit of karma associated with this relationship. Yep. Um, it gets too hot and heavy that maybe you guys, you both have very powerful personalities. That maybe you butt heads, that the sex is good and you both look good or you you look good together this is how your person feels maybe this is how you feel too both of you are kind of like go-getters in your own right you do what you need to do to bring in to attract that energy there's a lot of sexual chemistry passionate um energy between the two of you you can read each other's minds when you're together sometimes or especially if you're having sex or you get ready to have sex like you can hear this person's thoughts clear audience is is real strong with this person or whomever you have sex with especially with the high priestess coming up like this person in their mind they could say i i wish she or he would you know move their leg or to the left or to the right and you can hear it you can hear them say that even even before they say it or before they like gesture to that you can just you know this is a real strong connection um so this person feels like uh So they feel like the relationship is going into a place of reversal with the five of swords. Like, I don't know, they feel like maybe you feel like you won or you're the winner, you're the victor. Like you came back to them just to win and leave. Or they feel like there's no winner between the two of you because it's a lot of ego and pride and it's a butting of heads. There's a lot of self-interest here or or Somebody looks at the relationship as just a, not just a game, but they look at it as winner, loser. But when you love somebody, 
it sh you shouldn't look at it like that. It should just be, if we can't be together because we can't get along, then we both lost. It's not you won and I lost. They can also feel like there's a lack of communication between the two of you. You're not talking, you're not speaking. You're doing this on purpose to play mentals. They can feel like somebody else or something else interfered in the connection. Therefore, the, the communication was cut short or cut off or you just stopped talking because there's something else or somebody else that came here, came in between. They can feel like you say some harsh things to them, like you, you just, you have no filter. They can feel like it's just real tough energy, bad blood between the two of you right now. It's always a fight or a fighting. How does this person feel about Aquarius right now? How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? Six of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. All right, so this person feels like um, oh, okay. They, so they feel like you always do this. That's just what I heard. You always do this. You you always leave, or you you cut it short, or you cut off, or you 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 bolt out. You just. You cut things off, you take, when you do that, you take your power with you. You take the, you feel like, they feel like you have the upper hand in the relationship. This is first Deacon Aquarius, so January 23rd or 22nd through, I think, January 31st or February 1st or something like that. So they feel like maybe they're sabotage or like you say some harsh things or you have said harsh things you cut the relationship short you and then when you do that the power rests with you like you have the power now like you they're waiting for you they're waiting for you to give them some scraps some whatever some type of communication you have the balance you have the scales of balance or justice they're waiting for you to share you know, you you taking your ball and going home. If you took the ball, nobody can play, right? So it's like, it's like they're waiting. You have to, and you have the power. You took the ball, so it's like you. They feel like you always do this. You're always in and out. You're flighty. They feel like you'll be back. They feel like it's not over. They feel like you come out. You come in. You come out. You feel. You know. You're very spontaneous. Um, you don't let the grass grow under your feet. You don't know how to stay still. Uh, they feel like you're giving to more than one party. You feel like you're very attractive and you know it. You're very charming. You know how to come back and say the right things or get them in the right place or the right mood to accept. What is this person's next actions towards Aquarius, if any? What is this person's next action towards Aquarius, if any? So five of cups. So they regret not saying things. They regret maybe not making it work or my, maybe bringing in a third party. or They regret all the hurt, all the tears that you cried or that they cried. They're in mourning right now. They're grieving you they're feeling you're lost they f they feel the void of not having you in their life they they don't know how to bridge the gap they don't know how to build the bridge and make it work and, and come back to you they know that the relationship is recoverable but they don't know how to recover it um so right now they're not moving it's like they're stuck in fear obsession addiction low vibration karma, they're in a dark place. 
maybe because they made the wrong choice. It's like they want to be of a more healthier nature, but they feel like timing is of the essence. Like maybe if they don't do it now, they're going to lose you. They're trying to have a level or grow a level of consistency about themselves. Their emotions are closed down or they feel like yours are. But these are this is their actions towards you. So just like they could reach out and maybe apologize or they could state their claim about about what they want to manifest or what they want to actually happen between the two of you. They could even be saying that they choose you. Maybe they, they didn't choose you in the past. But they could feel like they are talking to somebody who is closed off, who doesn't want the connection, who um, has to think about it, who's just trying to maintain emotional stability right now. And they could feel like you're self-centered right now. You're really focused on yourself for whatever reason. And you just don't have time for love. They can feel like you're, you know, you have a very layered personality, so they don't know what they're going to get, if they're going to get open arms or closed door. They can't read you. What's the advice for Aquarius moving forward with this person? What's the advice for Aquarius moving forward with this person? What's the advice for Aquarius? I knew it was coming out. The High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. Do you know that these both say no movement? So they want you to be focused on whatever it is you need to be focused on. Bringing in something into fruition. Planning. You might be planning something right now. This is pre-planning. This is going over the... the this is taking account. Maybe you're, you're going over the books or you're trying to figure something out or you're writing something out or you're, you're writing the vision, whatever that may be for yourself. So they just want you to be focused on you and making something profitable, profitability, uh, stability, devoted, committed, dedicated to the pentacle, to hard work, reliability and effort that you're going to put into something I heard around the springtime. What is the advice for Aquarius? So they don't want you to. Okay, so no movement, no going backwards, no reaching out, do nothing, says the high priestess. Wait, because there's a decision that needs to be made. And I don't think it's one that you need to make. You know, it's one that maybe another person needs to make. Be focused on you right now and, and like getting your house in order. Yeah, the advice for Aquarius, Six of Pentacles. You have the power. Maintain it. Um, power, angelic presence, middle ground. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you get the power to temper your emotions too. Like, don't don't get too emotional about this and go too far to the left or too far to the right. Stay middle. Stay centered. You know, just because you know that somebody misses you doesn't mean you reach out to them and you, you just open the floodgate and you just open the door. It says do nothing and wait. You have the power to temper your emotions. Just set still. Like you, this is a still time for you, and this is also a time for you to be focused on you and getting something um, to a place of, you know, manifestation or fruition. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So it's like you need to resolve to not go back to old habits. 
with the Queen of Swords. Um, get counsel from someone that you trust before you cut loved ones completely off. It doesn't mean that you can't take a break from people or a person. Get real truthful with yourself. Make the executive decision in your life to cut off the past. The Queen of Swords, you know, she has uh, internalized and um, intellectual. Intellectualized? I hope that's the word. I don't know. She's She has really um, thought about. Uh, her future and what it looks like. And she's got real sure on the fact that she cannot drag all of this stuff from the past in the future with her. And that could mean people too. So uh, the queen of swords also is like, she, she's been through a lot. Therefore it's kind of pushed her into spiritual growth or spirituality or asking the questions of why She's also learning, you know, about herself each and every day. Um, she's making decisions in career, finance, love, and romance. And this is decision. So she's going in and making an incision first, and then she's cutting away. So she's cutting away people, places, things. It just doesn't add value. It doesn't serve her narrative, her, her plan, her program right now. If it's friends, if it's family, if it's this loved one that you come to the reading for, if they don't serve you right now, they have got to go. Um, the advice, the eight of cups, go on that spiritual journey. Analyze yourself, self analysis. OK, what have you been allowing? No one can do anything to you that you do not allow unless you're being whole, you know, held forcibly, you know, you know, at gunpoint, you know, so, um, um, if that's not happening, then, you know, no one can do to you what you don't allow. Um, with the eight of cups also, it, it says that, um, you might need to walk away from something and it's, it's, a, it's an act of self-respect too. It's like you, Again, you get another card of power, taking power back. Power in the Eight of Cups, power in the Six of Pentacles. It's like you really have just given yourself over, thrown yourself on the tracks for somebody in the past, in the recent past. And you and you have to stop doing that because it's like self-sacrifice, especially in the Eight of Cups. It's like you, you sacrifice what it was you wanted or you needed just to be with this person like you weren't getting fulfilled oh some of you weren't even getting fulfilled in the bedroom like you were kind of like faking the funk maybe it used to be good but now it's not but because you love this person you just kind of tolerated bad treatment all over the board from sex to mental and emotional financial just all together bad but it was it was a sacrifice that you made. You thought that it would be acknowledged and recognized and then rewarded, but it wasn't. It was taken for granted, which made you despondent and um, resentful. Now you feel like you got to go on this journey, this long journey, which some of you need to to find yourself again, self-discovery. This is like finishing up something and then moving on. Like just maybe you went back to somebody, you saw that there was no change. You just kind of finished up and then you moved it on. Like, or you know that you gotta finish something up. You gotta, whatever it may be, finish a lease, finish the divorce, finish the, I don't know, the paperwork, I, I don't know. Finish something up and move on. This isn't allowed moving on also. This is not like, I'm leaving you. And you telling everybody in the neighborhood, you telling his friends, his family, or her friends, family. It's just, 
just quietly getting the fuck out of there. You know, like I'm done. Like I couldn't even, I could not be any more done. Like if I was any more done, I'd be burnt or dead. Like this is, this is a mess, you know? And, um, you get it, you get it now. You, you can't keep giving to this because you're, you're never going to get the, the highest level of happiness with them. You're never going to get the 10 of cups to the pentacles because, um, they can't offer it to you and they don't see the value in offering it to you because you just keep laying yourself on the tracks for somebody who don't, is not even giving you bare minimum or they are giving you bare minimum or maybe even less than. Oh, I look back here and then I saw this card. You have not healed. Heal. This is this is for you, Aquarius. Some of you have not healed. I know you want to say you have and you know, and you're done and you forget about this person and blah blah blah. Whatever. Argue with the cards. Don't argue with me. I don't know you. Um, yeah. You leaving this person, putting them in a friend zone, putting them out of your life has completely bothered them. Because you've never done this. Wow. And they're waiting. They're waiting for you to show back up with your love. Because that's what you've always done. Yeah. Any cards for the Aquarius person? <laughs> Can we get a read in under 30 minutes? Jeez. All right. Yeah, so... Um, for Aquarius person, there's no compromise. And it's like, ooh, okay, sorry. So this person is realizing there's no more compromising with you. Like you're not going to compromise with them anymore. And they're, they, they feel like now you see something clear. Like you, you see, like they had a fog over you or a fog over your eyes just you were in a foggy state with them or you were in a very hopeful state with them just hoping it would work out and now they're seeing that they can't get you to compromise your value anymore you see them for who they are you see this clearly and you gonna retire this because you have been doing this for a long time and it just was hard wow I can't make it up and you're seeing through to them this is how your person feels like they had you in a very complacent state and they were complacent with you, even though they were never there for you. You put they ass, OK, in a platonic place, you separated from them. Wow. And you finished up. We talked about that in the eight of cups, finishing up and moving on because, you know, that this person is an outright liar. An equal give and take will never happen with them. You will always be giving more than they give to you. That's why they feel safe with you. Because they feel like you are, you know, you're, maybe you're Caucasian. Or another word for Caucasian would be white, right? Maybe they feel like you are clear or you are... Um, transparent in who you are, you know, or, or you come off genuine, and that's what made you so hard headed. And they could have been hard headed, but right now you're not making any moves. That's what the cards say, anyway. And they're not making any either, they could reach out to you. They could try to soften you up, but it looks like you put some firm boundaries with them. Like, look, I can't talk after 8 p.m. It just talks about boundaries. Like you may tell them, well, I, I, I can't talk. I'll call you. I'll call you later. Or I'll text you. You may never put them. You never call them back, you know. This could be gay, lesbian, bisexual relationship. 
it put everybody else before you because they didn't feel like they had to take you serious until you got rude with them until you you went off you got angry then they thought it was funny or it was fun or it was you know they they get a kick out of negativity and negative behavior yeah when you got rude and angry with them they got a, a real kick out of it yep i knew it they liked it when the feminine energy got rude and nasty and the feminine could be a man so this is just all outright thug if not like a real you know street thug they have a real thug like mentality i knew it this is what you were to them continuously throwing yourself on the train tracks they could have been sleeping with your friends or your friend. They could have had you as a side person in love with two people. Or they just was like of two minds about being in a relationship with you and then being single. So they just did both. Like when they were with you, they were in a relationship. And when they were not with you, they were single. And you made them happy. And you may have found your happiness now by telling them, look, don't talk to me anymore. Either energetically or physically, you told them, don't talk to me anymore. Now they're in that energy. We saw them come out as the devil. They're just plain old addicted now because don't we all want what we can't have? And, and now that you've closed yourself off to them, what do they want? They want you. Tell somebody they can't have something or they can't get it or they won't reach it or then they go right after it. And that's all this is. And, and if they conquer you again, you know, because this is what this will be. This is a conquest for them. So if they conquer you again, it'll just be the same thing. Let's say, great, I got her back. It'll be good for a week, maybe two. And then it'll be back to the same energy of them just not valuing you because now, in their mind, it would be, okay, I've got what I didn't have, you know, and now it's boring, and let me go somewhere else and be on conquest somewhere else. This is a very restless soul who lacks substance. Um, they lack high morale or any at all values or low um, they could be easily swayed. They could be extremely materialistic. Uh, this is just not an energy where this is not a settling energy. They don't settle down. They don't, there's no settling down because in, in the settling down, they would have to really see who they are and they don't want to do that. So if I can stay busy and active and over here and over there and in this relationship and in that one and starting a new one next week um then i never really have to firstly govern myself accordingly i never have to do that because i'm everywhere and then secondly i never have to show up genuine and i never have to really pinpoint my issues because i could just be everywhere at any given time with anyone so Aquarius, this is, um, it could be you too. I hope it's not my Aquarius, but it could be you. It could be your person. Um, it's just, this is an energy that just, this is beyond you now. Like it's beyond you. Let it go. It's beyond you. You, you can't fix it. You can't make them want you. You can't make them love you. You can't, not in the way you want. They probably love you in their way. Whatever way that is, however that looks, mm, good luck. Um, but I think you were wanting something from a person who could never give it to you, could never really show up in that capacity. And um, they were hell bent on keeping you in the loop for as long as they could and it looks like you broke out and and they just want you back because you broke out everybody 
I don't know why I'm, I'm continuously keep going. It's more than 40 minutes now. So everybody wants that one, you know, if you were a farmer, you, you've got 30 sheep, but that one sheep starts to go away from the herd, away from, you know, away from the herd in another direction. You want that one sheep. Doesn't matter if you have 29 other, you know, you want, you want that sheep and you're going to go after it. It's a challenge. It, it may even be the highlight of your day as a farmer to run after that sheep. And, and then you have to look at that as with your person. You could be that one sheep that is getting away. Yes, they have other sheep. They have other women or other men, and, but they still want you. You know, because you you are you and you possess something and you were courageous enough to go the other way. All the other sheep were just herded in one direction. You were courageous enough to break free. Uh, you're special in their mind. Even though they don't treat you as such or maybe they did or they do or they give you a little sprinkle of specialness treatment or I don't know. Or specialty treatment, but it's not consistent. Aquarius, this might you might have to just cut your losses with this. Yeah, cut your losses with this. It's just not. If not ever, it's just not now. Okay, so I don't know if it's not ever. That you'll be with this person but it's just not now like if you would just put that on your refrigerator not now and only you know what it means not now because you really have to shift your focus on to you because you're too focused on this relationship and bringing it back and getting them back and winning them back and being back with them and back 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 to where you can't even focus on your future because you're trying to go back, back, back. Like, this is crazy. It's it's kind of becoming redundant in the readings also, but that is not a slight to you. I hope that these readings help you move forward so that the energy can shift collectively for all of us. And if you are continuously coming to the readings and readers are talking about back energy or recent past or past person, um, it could not resonate with you at all, or it could resonate with you and you're just not digging deep enough within yourself to realize it is resonating with you. Maybe you're still stuck there energetically. I don't know you. Okay. So argue with the cards and not with me. I do not know you. You did not get a personal reading. So stop right there. All right, take care, guys. Many blessings to you. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can also get your own personal reading. You can go over to the community tab first, get you a discount code, and then head over to the website and book your reading, all right? So take advantage of that. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.